after 30 days of fasting and supplications, Muslims are observing the Eid al-Fitr prayers. Presided over by well-respected Islamic clerics, the solemn atmosphere provides opportunities to offer prayers to the Almighty God for the peace and progress of the country. Allahu Akbar. The two rakat prayers till the Ramadan fast. Governor Ubasani of Kaduna State was among the thousands of Muslims who observed the two rakat prayers in Zaria alongside other eminent personalities, and he urges the citizens to promote peaceful coexistence as he assures that the Kaduna State government, in collaboration with the federal government, is working assiduously to tackle the security challenges is bedeviling the state and the country as a whole. I want us to use the lesson of uh, the month of Ramadan to continue to work for the progress of our state as well as the country generally. We are facing some challenges as you are aware, uh, mostly of uh, insecurity which uh, uh, we are all working closely together with the stakeholders and the government at the federal level to address the problem of security in our own state. In Katsina State, Governor Dick Rada was among the hundred of worshippers who turned out at the Asan Usman Katsina Polytechnic Mosque in Katsina for the Eid prayers. He solicits for more prayers, support and understanding from the residents towards building the state and ending the menace of insecurity. We are really grateful to Almighty Allah and uh, we are also want to thank the people of Kazan State for their prayers during the month of Ramadan for Allah to give us peace and economic prosperity in our state. And we are grateful. It has really indeed been answered by Almighty Allah. We have seen a lot of improvement in the area of security. Hundreds of Muslim worshippers converged on the Yola Eid ground in Adama State to observe this year's Eid al-Fitr prayers. Governor Omar Fintari, the Lamid of Adama represented by the Waziri Adama, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, top government officials and district heads are among the worshippers who prayed for the peace and unity of the state and the country. Speaking to journalists shortly after the prayers, Governor Moro Fintori appeals to Nigerians to live a life of moderation, just as the former Vice President Atiku Abubakar asks Nigerians to support government policies. I congratulate all Muslims across the world, particularly Nigeria, uh, and in particular to urge us to live a life of moderation as enjoyed by Islam uh, through helping the needies, and ensuring that we coexist and respect one another. The only way we can overcome this uh, is uh, to work hard and also to support government policies that are designed actually to alleviate you know, the sufferings of uh, you know, the poor people, particularly the common man. Government officials led by Governor Bala Muhammad alongside traditional rulers and the coordinating minister for health and social welfare have gathered at the eight praying ground in Boucher State to offer two units of prayers. After the prayers, Governor Bala Muhammad reassures the residents of Boucher State that the current economic hardship is temporary and encourages them to pray for the Nigerian leaders. Well, the people, especially our leaders, religious leaders, to pray for us as leaders across the board from local government, state, and even the federal government. Because if we don't have the country, we will not even have the differences of our party and so on and so forth. In Yobe State, residents have been urged to pray for the peace of the state and the country as a whole. Governor May Malabani made a call immediately after he observed the two rakat prayers alongside thousands of Muslim faithful at the Yobe Mosque and Islamic Center Damaturu. <coughs> Speaking through his deputy, Idi Barde Gubana, Governor Bani also enjoins Nigerians to pray for President Bola Tinubu to succeed in governing the country in the face of the current economic challenges. We are happy, we are grateful to Almighty Allah, and we are prayerful that Allah SWT will accept our ibadah and will forgive our sins, and we are prayerful that we are among those that have been forgiven. 
Fasting is among the five pillars of Islam and the take home from across the Eid grounds is that worshippers must continue in the spirit of sacrifice and love. 